Hi, I'm Alex Mohagen, and I'm a cemetery enthusiast and advocate. I'm trying to get this to sound natural, like I just introduced myself to people all day long. I'm also a writer, an artist, a soap maker, and a huge fan of the Great British Baking Show, but I'm not sure whether that's ever going to come up on this channel. If I look familiar to you, it might be because you've seen me on TikTok which is not a sentence I thought I was probably ever gonna say. I got TikTok last year after a friend of mine kept posting funny videos to Facebook. Um, and I was like, oh, but that looks like fun. I'll, I guess I'll get that app. I lurked for a long time, just kind of liking and commenting on things um, and didn't know what kind of content to make. I kind of dabbled in like, oh, maybe I'll do DIY videos or, oh, I'll, I'll document my adventures in trying to forage for acorns. So as you're picking them up, you just look for little holes like that. You see that? Little, it's a little wormy door. By the way, that did not go well at all. <laughs> so then, in September of last year, I pulled over to visit one of my local cemeteries, which is something that I do fairly frequently. So I walked around and shot a little PSA sort of TikTok, um, just asking people that if they visited a cemetery, could they please stay off the headstones? I remember thinking that it was almost October, and that a lot of people would be visiting cemeteries in October because they gotta go get their spoop on, and that, you know, a lot of people just don't know how incredibly fragile headstones can be, and I don't want to see them get broken. What I didn't know was that several months prior, I think even before I was on TikTok, um, another user had made a cosplay video that they filmed in a cemetery and a lot of people had gotten very upset. Now, I didn't know about any of that. Like I said, I don't even think I was on TikTok when that whole thing went down, but it was assumed that I did. So the day after my PSA went up, um, I woke up to a ton of comments referencing that situation and about like 10,000 views, which was way more than I had gotten on any crap I had posted thus far. So after posting an update saying that, no, I'm not calling out anybody in particular, um, I thought, you know, I guess I'll try uh, doing some more cemetery content. So a couple days later, I filmed my first series, which was called The Twice Forgotten Cemetery, because I do have a melodramatic streak. So in 2008, a maintenance worker named Mike was mowing a section of lawn that was like really overgrown. There was all sorts of tall grass and brambles and stuff like that. When his lawnmower hit something that he thought was a rock. It was not a rock. It was a headstone. So that series kind of blew up. I went from having about 300 followers to having around 16,000 overnight. And I did not know what to do. So I spent the weekend just solidly freaking out. And uh, and then I said, well, I guess I know what kind of content I make on TikTok now. I guess I'm gonna talk about cemeteries. So I did. Back at the Chippewa County Poor Farm Cemetery in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. So I just kind of wanted to talk about how this happens, how we lose track of whole cemeteries and specifically how we lost track of so many African-American cemeteries. Hey, we're back talking about old cemeteries and today we are in Decatur, Illinois at Greenwood Cemetery. Today we're gonna talk about what might be the oldest cemetery we know about in the state of Wisconsin. And I would absolutely love to show it to you, but I can't because it's at the bottom of the lake. Cemetery symbolism with, oh, it's her again. Hello, today we are talking about vampire burials. Hey y'all, let's talk about Georgia. St. Mary's Oak Grove Cemetery is supposed to be one of the oldest in the state. If you use a flashlight, kind of perpendicular, and use it to create a shadow inside the letters, it can help you read what it says. Well, cemeteries, but then also what I like to think of as small histories, which are just stories from the lives of people who didn't go on to be, like, president or, you know, start a war. So there is a wicked awesome clinket man whose name is Bob Sam, who is currently the caretaker for the Russian Orthodox and Native American cemeteries in Sitka, Alaska. A newspaper article from 1904 reads, Scandinavians indignant because they were not notified of Martin Smaby's death. Which, both of those stories are 
not true! You'll notice that there's a general lack of axe murdering in that story. But eventually I realized that TikTok was not really the perfect venue for the kind of stuff that I wanted to talk about, mostly because you're limited to a maximum of one minute per video and so I had to chain a bunch of videos together to talk about anything complicated and I just wasn't really interested in making like a 30 part series for something so that I could explain all the detail involved. And so here I am on YouTube, just like a million of you asked over and over. So what will I be yammering on about in this channel? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, invisible audience member that I just imagined. Cemeteries. Yes, absolutely, for sure. This is my actual bed. Specifically, cemetery history, symbolism, art, and even some fun how-to stuff like how to clean a headstone. Ooh. History. Yes. But not the stuff that I find boring, which is mostly the stuff written by dead white guys whose main goal seems to be to convince us future folk that they were just, like, the coolest guys. Hmm. <laughs> Ghosts? Uh, not really? Kind of, it's complicated. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Serial killers. No, no, I don't have any interest in serial killers whatsoever. I feel like I need to make that very clear from the beginning because people keep asking me to talk about serial killers and like, I don't know. It's not my department at all. I'm really not interested. I don't understand. Is it because I'm from Wisconsin? That's, I mean, fair. Other subjects as I change and my interests evolve over time? Yeah, you should probably prepare yourself for that. So there you go, there's my little video introduction that YouTube says that I should make and I kept looking at the wrong spot on my phone the entire time, like I kept looking over that way. I had to reshoot so much stuff and I'm still not sure I did it right. So I suppose I should probably tell you to please subscribe um, if you think that that stuff sounds like fun and also to ring that little notification bell by the subscription thingy, kind of like as if you were buried alive, but luckily you were buried in one of the safety coffins that were designed to have a lever that the deceased, but not really deceased, clearly, could go ding, 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 and it would ring a bell up at the surface. Ring it like that. That might have been too much. Might have been too much too soon. Thanks. Bye. Also, just between you and me, I think TikTok might have the worst comment section of any of the social medias, like honestly, just, just carnival, hot flaming carnival trash, like decaying corn dogs mixed with beer and vomit. Just, mm. Hi, I'm Caitlin Doty, but make it cottagecore.